Six Tampa Bay pitchers silencing the Yankees bats and spoiling what was a terrific outing for Masahiro Tanaka. Yeah, it's a tough loss, Bob, because I think this was a, this was a missed opportunity by the Yankees to win a close game and a well-pitched game on both sides. We know the Yankee lineup is going to beat up on, on second division pitching, but when you're facing the Tampa Bay Rays and you're getting Snell and the five relievers, you're getting quality outings. I think about the seventh inning where the Yankees had first and second, nobody out. They couldn't cash in. I think about Talkman's double leading off the eighth, base running mistake, that cost them there. And then you think about the wild pitch from Adovino that set up the Rays for a one nothing victory. So this was an opportunity to win in a close game and a well pitched game and they just couldn't do it. Yeah let's get to Jack Curry now Jack they've been able to win a lot of close games so far this season. This one just didn't go their way and it was too bad for Masahiro Tanaka. Yeah this is a deflating loss. I have to echo what Flash said because when your starting pitcher gives you the kind of effort that Masahiro Tanaka gave the Yankees even though it was only for five innings that's the kind of game that you expect to win but the Yankee offense was meek. Only two hits tonight. It's the first game all season in which the Yankees did not hit a home run. And Flash just detailed what I think they'll be thinking about when they get on that team bus. Missed opportunities in the seventh, missed opportunities in the eighth, and then essentially gift wrapping that run for the Rays in the bottom of the eighth with a couple of walks and a wild pitch. This one's going to sting a little bit for the Yankees because of what Tanaka did to set them up for a win. Yeah, we